Washington Fish Questers Blake here. My relentless march to 1 million views continues as I uh, clean out my external hard drive. So this footage I shot back in 2017, it was after a very successful blackmouth trip to CQ. Uh, something that's very important to me and my good friends at the Westport Aquarium is basically not wasting fish when possible. I mean, you can get just about everything you need out of that salmon. So here's one method, and that is smoking it to the bone. Here you go. All right, so here's my cleaning station. I just flayed two CQ uh, blackmouth uh, I caught in April. So up here, you know, obviously got the fillets. Uh, a couple of years ago, my wonderful wife Vanessa bought me this food saver vacuum sealer, so I'm going to seal those up. And then over here, I got the rest, uh, basically the part of the, the middle of the body, you know, down the spine, but there's still a lot of good meat on there. And then over here I got the heads, and this is the only part that I, I use for crab bait. Uh, you can't use it for soup stock and that sort of thing, but I use it for crab bait. And they even dig out uh, some of the good meat that goes in there close to the brain. Uh, but at any rate, uh, so with these, I uh, these this is what I like to smoke. I like to eat these fresh, these fillets, and then I smoke the rest. And once you smoke it, you know, that meat kind of comes off the bone that's here uh, on the collars as well as the pieces of spine. And I like to keep the tails on there for the culinary reason that it looks cool. All right, so this is a pretty well-known brine recipe. Uh, the proportions, though, I got from the book. Oh, let me reach for it. Uh, West Coast Seafood Recipes by Blaine Freer. I like the book because it's actually a Pacific Northwest cookbook. There's a ton of seafood cookbooks out there. Some of them even claiming to be, you know, West Coast. But uh, they aren't. That one certainly is. At any rate, so simple brine here. So I already got a quart of water there in my uh, non-metal bowl. I'm going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of salt. I uh, will stir vigorously. All right, there we go. It looks about like chocolate muck when you're done, kind of like Yoohoo. Uh, it'll settle a bit, so get, I think what it is is like remnants of salt on the top, sort of. Yeah, there, it's starting to do it. Uh, however, yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Well, I'm going to put my fish chunks in there. Do -do -do. Like I say, I just keep the tail on so it looks cool. All right, there we go. I'm going to put a little bit of ceramic wrap over that and put it in the fridge overnight. All right, so these just uh, got done drying, so I took them out of the brine, rinsed them in fresh water, and then uh, dabbed them with a towel, and then left them out to air dry for a couple hours. So I'm going to put them in the smoker here. I'd also like to mention that uh, I do this with my tuna as well. For anyone that's ever cleaned a tuna, you know, it's almost like cleaning big game. There's different parts to it. You know, it's got like a, the loins and the collar and everything, and same thing. I can the, the meaty parts of it, and then the more stringy or hard parts I smoke, just like this. Alright, these guys have been in the smoke for close to six hours. Now, I don't really smoke my fish that long. Sometimes if I only smoke it for two or three, I'll just finish it off in the oven, put it in there at like 250 for 20 minutes or so. But at any rate, uh, here we go. This is about what it looks like. Mmm, not very good. It's really good. And by the way, you got a mouthful of bones too. I can just chew through them. Mmm. It's gotta be a lot of fun watching me eat. Yeah, that's a big part of it, is the bones now are totally edible. Because I smoked it for so long. Some people even eat the tail. I'm gonna give it a try. It tastes like much. A little fishy. At any rate, so if you're like me, and you like smoked fish, but you're not in love with smoked fish, you know, if you'd rather have barbecue or oven, fry it on a pan, sushi, whatever, I highly recommend just smoking mm, the bones, because uh, you can eat most of them, but the only thing I think I'll probably be able to eat is the spinal column here, which is pretty thick. By far, all the rib bones and everything, totally edible. Tasted, to me, just as good as any smoked salmon. And you know whether it was a choice fillet or not. So, at any rate, uh, give it a try sometime if you haven't. And see you next time on a Washington Fish Cooks. 
Hey, all right. You know, in that video, I also said I like to use the heads for crab bait, which is still partially true. However, I have more and more just started making uh, a, a stock out of the heads. And I'll sometimes take that stock, and then I'll just uh, bake the spines themselves, you know, as the actual soup itself, and make a salmon chowder. If you'd like me to do a video about that once salmon season starts to begin, let me know. Happy to do it. Regarding the guts of the salmon, you know, I'll often use their eggs to, you know, fish, catch more salmon. But I'll take their guts, and... Uh, this is a trash can here. I need to add some more carbon to the mix here, but this is compost I make, and this is primarily fish guts. I put a bunch of smelt guts in here, and then I put a lot of my salmon in here. And, you know, I put in uh, shavings from our guinea pigs, <laughs> you know, like the wood chips and their, their turds. And, uh, you know, I put in ash from when I smoke fish, and I just mix it up, and that is uh, great for uh, tomatoes. So there you go, there's just a couple ideas. Like I said, if you want me to do that video on salmon stock and uh, making the chowder, happy to do so. So there you go. Don't be afraid to smoke your salmon to the bone. All right, so these guys came out of the brine and I patted them. Hey, bud. Hey, Dad. Who are you talking to? Uh, Washington Fish Quest. My YouTube channel. Oh, why is he... Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, oh, yes.